relationship between the rib cage and the scapula is an interesting one. The ribs are our connection to our breath, and the scapula is our connection to our shoulder and our arm. And they're constantly moving with each other and against each other, and this becomes the complication for us as bipedal beings. There are a lot of muscles affected by this relationship, but the main one is the rhomboids. I've already discussed how to work the rhomboids in the supine position in this video here. Click there in that little annotation. Um, but today I want to talk about how to work them in side lying and how to use gravity to your advantage. As you can see, I've got my left arm under my client's arm supporting the anterior shoulder right at the deltoids and I'm using my right hand to slide underneath the scapula and really work deeply into those attachment sites at the rhomboid on that medial border as it falls over my hand as I pull the shoulder back. The advantage of the side lying position is that gravity is now pulling the scapula down towards the spine. Because this is not a normal situation, we can really take advantage of it. If I lift up my client's arm and let it drop over my fingertips, I'm now accessing not only the insertion for the rhomboids, but also their relationship to the insertion for the subscapularis. These two muscles play a game of tug of war with the scapula, and so you want to ease that tension. Some clients might be a little resistant to you holding their arm up, in which case you can use the same technique as before, sliding your arm under theirs, grabbing the front of the shoulder, and when I lift the arm it pulls the scapula away from the spine, and then when I let it drop down, it drops down over my fingertips, allowing that muscle to soften and lengthen at the same time. If somebody's got issues right in the glenohumeral joint or frozen shoulder or issues that doesn't allow their arm to be as mobile, another option is to stand facing your client, allowing their arm to rest on their side and using one hand to push the shoulder back and the other hand, like I was doing before, sliding underneath the scapula as it falls back and down towards the table. This is also a great opportunity to do some friction right in this area. There are a ton of adhesions that can form along the medial border. And the technique of softening this muscle by pushing the shoulder back while compressing into it is really going to allow it to let go on a very deep level. Sliding along the superior aspect of the medial border up to the superior angle here allows me to really feel where those minute areas of tension are holding. So same idea here, using gravity to my advantage, pushing the shoulder back and sliding along that border and underneath that border and really releasing very slowly and very gently those deep adhesions and those deep trigger points. Switching my hand position, I'm now able to get to the inferior aspect of the medial border. The inferior part of the scapula in general falls away from the ribs a little more easily, but that doesn't mean that there's less tension there. So as I follow all the way down to the inferior angle, I'm feeling, again, for those little minute details that are causing a lot of issues. Taking the technique that we all know and love from the prone position, we can pull our client's arm and rest it on their lower back. Supporting the front of the shoulder, same idea, sliding along the medial border of the scapula, pulling the scapula away from the rib cage, and really releasing those attachment sites. I want to really emphasize the importance of this juncture of the scapula and the ribs and the rhomboids and the subscapularis and a couple other muscles in there because a lot of issues that come down into the shoulder and down the arm absolutely originate right here. So as I pull the scapula away, I'm focusing on maneuvering not only that area to become free, but also the shoulder and the scapula as a whole unit and reminding it of its connection 
to the thoracic body and then down the arm and into the fingers ultimately. This is also a really beautiful position to do a little levator scapula work. Um, it pops up here, so pay attention to it and give it some nice release. An alternative way to position yourself in this same technique is to face the client and tuck one arm under their arm, allowing both hands to really grab every element of the scapula. With this positioning, not only am I using gravity to my advantage, but I'm also using my ability to really push the scapula up superiorly and down inferiorly and into both upwards and downwards rotation. So every slight movement of this essentially floating bone can be addressed. As you can see here, I'm using the palm of my right hand to push down on the lateral border of the scapula, which manipulates the scapula into downward rotation. That's gonna lengthen the rhomboids. So as I sink with my fingers into the rhomboids and lengthen those out, that's a nice deep pin and stretch. And then alternatively using my palm of my left hand to push down on the superior angle and giving the scapula some nice movement. Again, here's a nice alternative for your clients who may not have the shoulder flexibility that other clients do. Leaving their arm in a neutral position, same idea. Using my palm to push down on the lateral border and using my other palm to push down on superior angle and manipulating with each movement and each rotation a slight pressure into the rhomboids and releasing all aspects of the medial border so that the rhomboids can communicate with the muscles around it and move the scapula and the shoulder in the way that is healthy and free. Once all these ropey fibers of the rhomboids are nice and loose, apply some gentle friction. They tend to respond really well to this after some deep work and make nice, as I always say. Keep your clients coming back. Thank you to all of you incredible body workers out there. I have seen my subscriber number grow and I want it to keep growing. I'm so happy and proud and grateful. Thank you so much and continue to be amazing massage therapists.